Hey friends, it's Natalia and welcome back to She Makes 31. In today's video, I'm decorating my front porch and my balcony for fall and Halloween. All right friends, to get started, I am going to be doing some cleaning. This is our first fall season in this house. And so I just wanted to get a nice clean start, get all the cobwebs off. Even though it's Halloween, I do not want cobwebs <laughs> on my decor, on my porch. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dust those off. I know it's been a while since I last posted a video, but that's because I got extremely sick. Um, I'm actually still recovering, so my voice is a little bit raspy, but um, yeah, our boys got sick with RSV, and then I got sick, and it turned into like ear infection, double ear infection, sinus infection, upper respiratory infection, and bronchitis, and it's been a rough, you guys. After I actually filmed this video, I was so exhausted and out of breath, and just really tired but I just wanted to get my front porch decorated because you know I, I wanted to look festive the front door was so dirty um, I actually plan on repainting this I just have to get some replacement paint I'm only allowed to paint it the color that it already is because of the homeowners association and here's little Caleb helping me scrub down the door. He's so cute. He just wanted to help any little bit that he could. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Natalia. I am a mother and wife. I have three boys and I live in South Florida. I love making videos like this. Um, we just moved into this uh, townhouse about two or three months ago and we've just been trying to make it feel like home. This is a rental and so I love being able to work on projects where are, that are still renter friendly but can still be customized to make it feel like your own. I'm putting up this trick-or-treat sign that I made last year and I actually made it so that it could be reversible um, I do plan on flipping it over and making a decal for it that says hello fall or hello pumpkin or something like that um, but for right now I'm sticking to the trick-or-treat side on the left you see that I have two corn stalks I got those at Lowe's I was gonna put them <clears throat> each like on one side but I thought that it looked better here because there was on the left because there was like a big blank space and so I went ahead and left them there and then I also um, got some command hooks and put them around the door so that I could clip these um, purple lights on their little mini dome lights and so at night I love them because they kind of reflect off all over the walls and stuff um, and it just really adds to the festive look we got time after this but I'll need you as my because it's October I am adding the Halloween spooky decor but I do love that after October is over I can still leave this as a fall porch um, I just remove like any little Halloween um, decor touches and just leave like the pumpkins and I'll probably put like a scarecrow instead of a skeleton down um, but it's just easily interchangeable which I love I'm kind of excited to see like what this neighborhood that we moved into is like for Halloween. Um, we've never really had good luck with like having a big trick-or-treating neighborhood. Um, so we're hoping that, you know, we can attract some trick-or-treaters with our decor and maybe inspire some of our neighbors to decorate their own homes, which is actually something that worked because one of our neighbors saw us decorating and he said, all right, you inspired me. And he's gonna go ahead and start decorating his um, home for Halloween. So, um, you know, it's, it's really cool to be um, doing these kinds of things in your community because, you know, you get people inspired and 
it just I don't know anytime like I was outside and decorating and people like walked by or whatever everybody just had a smile on their face you know because they thought it was nice and and it's I don't know I, I just feel like it's a great way to be able to connect with neighbors and um, just be festive and I know I've said festive a lot but I it, you know it's really the, the look I'm going for and just getting to know new neighbors and things like that um, we actually met some new friends this way another mom with three boys and so you know it's exciting so I encourage you to uh, do this if you have you know neighbors that can walk by and see because it really does attract you know families and stuff um, if you're looking for that The doormat that I got um, and the rug underneath it are new. I got them from Target this year and I really love it because it works for both Halloween and fall. And um, I got my little hay bale with my little skeletons. I got these last year. I think they're so cute um, and they're posable so you could just put them in whatever position you want. But I think it would be just cute to sit them down next to each other. Another new item that I got this year is this little scarecrow. He does not have a head, but it's because it's meant to have like a pumpkin on top. Um, they they sell them at Target and they come with like different pumpkin heads that you can get. Um, but my plan is actually to um, carve out a pumpkin when we get closer to Halloween and put that on top. I think it'd be really cute. Um, they also had one that looked like a little skeleton. I got these um, mums and these pumpkins both at Walmart. Um, the mums, I love them because they actually came um, in one pot, but it's three different colors. So I thought that was amazing because I always have a hard time picking a color, um, but this has three. And then these heirloom um, pumpkins are just the best price at Walmart. And I love to be able to stack them on top of one another. While I was uh, doing the front porch here, my husband was setting up a lights that you'll see um, outside and putting up our little blow up um, SpongeBob figure. But I'll show you that at the end. Um, and this wreath is a fall wreath. Uh, I usually have a Halloween one, but because we have our balcony this year um, that also faces the front of the house, I put a Halloween one there and left the fall one for the front door. Alright, so moving on to the balcony, I got these little mystic bright lights from Walmart. Um, I had some cleaning to do here before I started decorating, um, but I thought it would be cool to do the railings um, with the lights. And so I went ahead and did that, um, and then you'll see what I add next. I actually have these plugged into a smart plug um, so that I could put them on a timer. So at sundown, they automatically turn on and then at midnight, I have them turning off. So that's a great way to not forget to turn them on or off. Then I got this hairy spider from Walmart. Um, again, best price that I've seen for something like that. And I put that in the front railing. And then this is the wreath that I'm hanging at the front door and I've had this for a few years now and then this sign that's like my favorite welcome to our dead and breakfast the service years to die for I think it's hilarious it's super corny but I think it's hilarious and I love it 
and then I just added my fall pumpkins or I'm sorry my fall pillows to my chairs and the purpose of this blanket is solely for decoration because it is way too hot in South Florida for any kind of blankets but I it is cooling down a little bit so I am planning on just sitting out here a few nights All right, friends, this is what it looks like. I did add a few little 3D bats coming out on the walls and these little stakes, garden stakes, um, are so cute. They're little ghosts. A lot of this is from Walmart and it's very inexpensive, very affordable, and I just love it. This is the daytime look. Once we do get closer to Halloween, we will be getting some more pumpkins and carving them and putting them out by the front porch. But I just love this, guys. I think it's so cute and it's so simple to just put these things together. Um, and here is the big old spider with some webbing that I put up. <laughs> I think it looks really cool and the kids love it. It's so fun. And here's the balcony. I added some of this webbing to the light fixture here. And this is what it looks like. It's a small balcony, but I just love that I can still add little touches. I moved my bougainvillea plant that I usually have by my front um, porch and I moved it here. I do need to trim it, but I just kind of like how wild it's looking right now. But um, I do need to trim it back. Um, so yeah, I just put these little pumpkins here and we can sit out here put our drinks on the table and just hang out and enjoy the evening And here's what it looks like at night I love that it just gives it a totally different look with the lights. Uh, we have some porch lights up at the front um, with smart bulbs and we changed the color of those. And this is the lighting that I was talking to you about that my husband um, put up. We put our SpongeBob on a pumpkin. Um, the boys love that and that's been a really a hit with the neighborhood kids. Um, but yeah, I just love how just fun this all is. And I really just do this for the kids. You know, they're only little for so long and I just love them to have these memories as they grow up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.